Hey guys, welcome back to Bible Bites. Who is over this pandemic? I know I am. I respect social distancing and I will continue to do so, but I am ready to get back to doing the things I love to do and seeing the people I love spending time with. But let's get in the Word and let's see what God has to say. Let's open our word to Psalms 139, verse 23 and 24. It says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. So I have a confession. The past couple of days, I have really been feeling anxious. Um, I just celebrated a birthday and received some birthday money and gift cards, and I was really wanting a new living room rug. I love interior design, I love cooking, um, but finding this rug, I, I was just obsessing over it. And um, I was spending time and hours, I mean, just lots of time and hours on the internet trying to find the perfect rug for my living room. And, uh, and in doing so, it had become like an idol. You know, God's word says, have no other idols before me. Um, you know, a, an idol, today is not a wooden, you know, carving or a golden calf. It can be th anything that we put before Christ. And I was definitely sacrificing my quiet time with God. And I was given that time into searching for a rug. You know, the rug isn't sin itself. I mean, God gives us, you know, desires and interests. Um, and, and those are okay. But it becomes a sin, you know, slash an idol when we give that more time than what we do Christ. And I, that's what I was doing. I was, I was giving up my time, you know, with God. And I was just spending hours on the internet trying to find this perfect rug with the perfect colors, the perfect price, you know, and all that. And, you know, God's word says, delight yourself in the, in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. But I was putting the cart before the horse. I was searching, you know, for my desire and I was sacrificing God. And God is like, no, honey, you got to keep me first, and then I will give you the desires of your heart. And I was feeling the ramifications of not doing this. I mean, I was feeling so anxious, those, that anxious feeling. I mean, it's like tormenting. And um, I just got, you know, with God, I was, I was getting in the car, and I was driving, and I was just like, God, I'm so sorry. I was repenting. I knew. I didn't, I didn't need God to search me. Um, because I knew what I had done. But there are times when you have anxious thoughts and you're not sure where they come from. Um, you know, we can put people, you know, before God. We can put our hobbies before God. We can, you know, interest in, in different things that we love to do. And we can put more time in that. And that becomes our idol. And But there's times that we don't realize we're even doing it. It can be our jobs, our career. And sometimes we need God to search us. You know, we're feeling anxious, but we're not even sure why. But, you know, God's word says, search me and know my heart. You know, God knows I love him, but I wasn't keeping him first. You know, it says, point out anything in me that offends you. So anything that we're keeping before Christ is offensive to him. And, and he's going to let you know, but you got to go to him first. Um, and so... While I was driving in the car and I was just like, God, I'm so sorry. I knew what I'd done. I knew that I had sacrificed my time with him. I knew that I was, you know, putting this rug, you know, before him. And I, I was just worshiping him in my heart. And this peace just started coming over me. And, and I was just like, God, you're so good. It just makes me fall in love with God even more. And um, he wasn't condemning me. He wasn't shaming me. You know, he was, he knew my heart. He knew I was repentive, truly repentive, you know, and it just made me think if you don't have Christ in your life, what do you do? I mean, God is our Lord and our savior. And I needed saving from these anxious thoughts that I was experiencing. And it's like, if Christ isn't your Lord and your savior, it's like, where, where do you go? Where do you run to when, when you're feeling and dealing with this? You know, is it drugs? Is it alcohol? Is it food? You know, all that, that's just temporal. The world offers nothing that is lasting. And um, I, so I just, you know, I ask and beg that, you know, if, if Christ is not first and foremost in your life, make him, you know, make him your Lord and your Savior. Repent from your sins and turn to him and he'll meet you right where you're at. 
And the thing is, you can go to God anytime, morning, night. It doesn't matter if you're by yourself or if you're in a crowd. He will meet you right where you're at. And so, and that's what I did. I repented. And, um, and I'm just like, God, help me stay back on track and keeping you first and not putting a rug. You know, yes, a rug will bring me joy for a little bit, but it's not that joy that God can give. And so I, um, I hope this has been encouraging. I hope that you turn from your idols and put God back in his rightful spot, which is first. Um, tune in tomorrow and don't forget to hit subscribe to our GCA YouTube channel. Um, I love you and God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.